You know, talking to uh, Commissioner Ravella this afternoon and then uh, Director Hackett, there, there really have been no uh, no incidents really going on around the state. It's, it's that to this point fairly smooth. Look, uh, a trooper was hit, or I'm sorry, a trooper's uh, cruiser was hit down on I-95 in East Lyme, uh, but the trooper was out of his car at that point when it was struck. He was helping a motorist that had gotten stranded when that car hit him. Uh, so it, it's obviously, it, it, it echoes the point that stay off the roads. You know, a trooper's trying to help this guy out and someone hits him. Uh, it's it, stay off the roads if you don't need to be out there, obviously. Yeah, Brian, uh, you know, the job of state trooper is never an easy one, but during a storm like this, what do troopers have to keep in mind out there? How does the job of state trooper change uh, in a nor'easter like this? Well, obviously, uh, there's a lot less traffic out there. They'd like there to be, be no traffic out there, but uh, a lot of assisting of motorists, a lot of uh, taking care of accidents as best they can. Uh, I got to say that the, the, the Connecticut State Troopers are some of the best uh, drivers in the state, especially in, in these types of conditions, uh, which they're well trained uh, to handle as well. So uh, just trying to stay safe and keep everybody safe out there. What is the message that state troopers are trying to get out there to the general public right now? Uh, so talking to Commissioner Ravella and talking to look at DOT and you heard the governor say it there earlier is doing an amazing job uh, of these highways and they began these preparations uh, days ago we knew this was going to be like this and they began to ramp up uh, but they've done a great job of keeping the highways out of it if you ask any driver uh, basically they, they'll, they'll any DOT uh, plow driver they're going to tell you the biggest pain for them is other people on the highways and look on, on 84 the governor said no uh, tractor trailers at all and then on limited access highways uh, you can have no empty uh, uh, trail, tractor trailers and no tandem tractor trailers. And the reason for that is uh, those those two vehicle, types of vehicles, when they're empty or tandem, have a, a much harder time braking regularly. Forget about it, even in the snow. And they're the ones most likely to jackknife and most likely to cause an accident uh, and most likely you know to, to cause uh, extra work for the for the the troopers out there. Uh, but but again, the power outages around the state. Again, just talking to, to people at the EOC here in Hartford, uh, at a minimum. Uh, but that's not to say that, that Eversource and UI aren't well prepared. Uh, yesterday on the conference call, they detailed uh, what they expect out of this storm and what they have prepared uh, in the coming you know, 24 hours or so here as we've still got a ways to go. Yeah, hey, Brian, real quickly, I uh, just want to ask you, let's say, because we, we understand traffic has been light out on the highways, that's a very good thing, much appreciated, but let's say somebody is out and they do have a spin out, they wind up maybe stuck in a ditch or something, what should they do? Uh, you don't want them to, to walk out into traffic. Uh, call 911, obviously, right away, uh, and, and try to stay safe. If they can, if they can stay warm and stay off the highway and get out of their vehicle uh, and, and, and off the roadway, that's great. But um, obviously, the, the simple answer here, Brett, is is to stay off the roads to begin with. As you can see, it's not very pretty out here. All right, Brian Foley of Connecticut State Police. Thank you so much for the time and get warm. It looks chilly and windy out there. Thanks, Ash.